Everybody. welcome back to my channel for another video if you are brand new here I'm Brooke and I'm really happy that you found this video so first of all my energy is a little low today because I think I woke up with like strep Steven has I don't know what he had but I am I now have it and I don't feel that great but a lot of really big news is in order so I'm going to try to have some type of energy for this video first of all this video is going to be about Sagittarius five things you need to know about dating them I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days but um, a lot of stuff has happened which I'm about to update you on um, if you aren't interested in any of that because you're not subscribed to me or you just don't care about my life that's totally fine just skip ahead in the video but for those of you who do care about my life um, I got engaged last week and it has taken up my entire physical being um, because I'm so happy and excited and I if you follow me on social media you already know this the ring is absolutely gorgeous he did a really great job and it's not on my hand right now because it's getting sized it was half a size too big for my little finger and so I'll just insert pictures for you guys lots of planning is in order I am overwhelmed with how much I have to do I don't even want to get into that but yeah so that is the first thing I wanted to tell you guys second thing I want to tell you guys is that we actually are going to be moving in a couple weeks we found our like perfect little house that we wanted we're renting not buying but it's three bedrooms and two bathrooms and it has a massive front yard and backyard and like front porch and back porch it's just um it's everything that we wanted and it's like a dream come true because um it's it just it happened it just kind of fell in our laps obviously my background is going to be changing and my upload schedule is going to be a little bit off while we're moving and i'm probably going to have a lot of moving videos renovation videos um like stuff like that so my content's going to switch up for a little while soon the third announcement i need to make to you guys is you probably already noticed because there's ads on this video, but I got monetized. Thank you guys so much for making that possible. Obviously, I'm not earning anything crazy yet, but it feels really good to know that now I'm going to be somewhat like monetarily, mon monetarily incentivized. Is that a whatever? for the work that I do for this channel. Again, I, I am super stoked and really excited, but I have day cool brain right now, so you're not really getting my full excitement, and I'm sorry, but you don't, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm on like cloud nine in life, even though I'm super, like, I'm getting sick. I'm extremely happy, and it doesn't feel like this is my real life if that makes sense. So we're gonna get into this video. These are five things that you guys need to know about dating a Sagittarius sun. As I say in all of these videos in this series, this is about your sun sign, not your moon, not your rising, your sun sign. If something doesn't line up, it's probably because you have a different kind of moon sign or a different kind of rising sign and maybe you identify with that more. So do not go in the comments and freak out if I say something that you don't completely agree with or understand understand because you never know anything truly about someone until you have their birth chart even then they're probably a mystery number one the first thing that you need to know about dating a Sagittarius Sun like all fire signs Sagittarius is most vibrant when they are in love they're drawn to passion and excitement and just the adventurousness of like being in a new relationship they're really enthusiastic people and this carries over into their relationships they're very magnetic and they're very flirty and it's really easy to find yourself like putting one on a pedestal and idolizing them and just thinking they are the literally the greatest thing since sliced bread you might find yourself like really drawn to their like outward and like outgoing personalities they really enjoy life and they enjoy thriving off of other people's energy they love seeing other people having a good time especially if it's like some event that the Sagittarius has put together they want to see everybody like enjoying themselves, living life to the fullest. They love that shit. The second thing to know about Sagittarius Sun is that they find, most of them find the idea of being tied down extremely boring, especially Sagittarius women when it comes to like the idea of like 
domesticity and stuff, they're not really turned on by that. I have three Sagittarius female friends and all three of them are very different, but the one thing that I do believe is that they don't strike me as the types to be crazy about being tied down even when they are giving their all in a relationship. I feel like Sagittarius sons will always have that wandering sense, that you know, idea of like, yeah, I'm super happy here, but I'm not blind to the fact that there could be a whole other life out there for me should I decide to leave this relationship. You don't wanna feel like they are under somebody's thumb. Sagittarius sons don't like to stick around in relationships where they feel like their sense of freedom has been taken from them. Sagittarius men, especially love the idea of their freedom and they struggle especially with feeling trapped in relationships tend to enjoy like the challenge of like the hunt to find a partner or the challenge of like tying someone else down temporarily they love the whole aspect of like going after somebody but it's very different once they're actually in a relationship i feel like a lot of them get cold feet and it's difficult to keep them where you want them in the relationship. Um, I feel like they, they like the idea of being in a relationship and being with somebody, but it's a whole different ordeal when it's like a long-term relationship. That's not to say that they can't be in one. It's just like a trait that I've noticed with the Sagittarius men is they will always really identify with being a Sagittarius. They will like feed off of the fact that like, I'm a Sagittarius man, just gotta be free man. If you're a Sagittarius, you probably really like the fact that you are one and use excuse, you use it as an excuse to your advantage. The third thing to know about Sagittarius is that they take love seriously, but not as seriously as the other signs do. For Sagittarius, the a relationship is not the beginning or the end of anything. It is just another part of life. I think that especially goes for Sagittarius men. They're really attracted to people who mirror their opinions on like travel and the desire to see more and um, learning more about new cultures and going places that um, they've never been before. They see every romantic interaction in their life is a chance to learn and grow, not as a setback. For the most part, they're pretty accepting of their partner's need for freedom because they recognize that in themselves. That's not to say that they can't be jealous people because they do still have a jealous streak. I feel like they just kind of carry it a little bit differently than the other signs. They're not the kind of partners that desire to hold you back or to keep you all to themselves. But again, that is not to say that they're not human and that they can't get jealous because they can and they will. The fourth thing to know about dating Sagittarius is that they are definitely a sign that is like heavily attracted to knowledgeable people. They love people that are really well-rounded and you know like intellectually sound and like informed on a lot of different topics. They like well-read people who can like educate them and have intellectually stimulating conversations but they can definitely be know-it-alls like they they do pride themselves on the amount of knowledge that they can hold in their brains and they pride themselves on the amount of smart people they can surround themselves with even though that knowledge is not theirs like they will still kind of own it as like I have all these really smart friends and that makes me smart. Sagittarius definitely flip-flop back and forth between what their truth is. They're very much like go with the flow in the moment type of people so like whatever they feel in the moment that is their truth. They um, they'll tell you one thing in privacy and then if they're around someone else depending Depending on what that person says, they might change their opinion entirely. I dated one once who told me that he thought $600 was too much for rent and then I heard him say to our friends who were going to live with us that um, $800 was not a lot for rent. So number five, if you want to attract a Sagittarius, you need to make sure you're setting yourself apart from like everyone else, every other possible suitor that's like in their line of vision. They typically like when people play hard to get, they like the chase even if they won't admit it. It makes them feel more deserving when they get what they want if they've really had to chase after it and work for it and kind of prove themselves. Uh, make sure that you know how to carry on a great conversation. Whatever it's about, it doesn't really matter. Sagittarius just likes to hear someone educated speak on something that 
that they're passionate about. Make sure if you're trying to attract a Sagittarius that you don't immediately start talking about marriage and babies and trying to tie them down and moving in together because they're not really attracted to that and it makes them kind of go in the opposite direction because they feel like their freedom is threatened and it is a little bit. <laughs> Try to be your most authentic self when you are with a Sagittarius and if you want to take them out on a date, maybe take them somewhere outdoors like on a hike or to a river or a picnic or if you've been dating for a while, see if they want to go camping overnight or something like that so they can like, can you stop this? Are you, is this a Sagittarius? Anyway, because they love the outdoors and they feel like they can really connect with their inner being in the outdoors. So there's a good date idea. And honestly, if you are not currently with a Sagittarius, you're just kind of thinking about dating one or trying to, to start talking to one, keep in mind that right off the bat, you are not gonna really be their end all be all. You're not gonna be their everything. Um, they are probably are not thinking about spending their entire life with you right off the bat. So don't get it twisted. Um, you might be head over heels for them. You might have them on a pedestal, but it's gonna be a while before you guys can really be on the same page. You need to communicate and let them know what it is that you're looking for because it might not be what they're looking for, especially if you're somebody who is immediately looking to settle down like within two years or something. It takes Sagittarius a while to warm up to the idea of being tied down to one person for the rest of their lives. You just gotta use communication, man. Sagittarius loves their freedom. I've said that like 10 times in this video. So just make sure that if you're trying to attract one that you let them know that you are in full favor of them being the free little bird that they want to and you let them know up front things that you are and are not okay with. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that I am such low energy and I'm so incredibly tired and I, want to fall down a hole. I love you guys so much. Thank you and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully with a little bit more stamina. <laughs> Bye guys.